Hi guys, it's Shani. As you can see from below, this is a Lust Have It Eco Box bag review. Um, the Lust Have It Eco Box is just another subcategory in their subscription um, line. This one only comes out quarterly though, and it retails at $30, including the shipping. Um, as with all these videos, I will be looking down periodically because this is my card and I need to know what I'm telling you about. Um, so shall we get started? Let's see, it's like prizes. Um, the first product is a Di Lorenzo uh, Mud Slide Stronghold Paste. It's got organic fig and basil leaf. I believe this is a full size product. Yep, this retails at twenty, nearly $24. Um, as with all Di Lorenzo products, it's vegan, 100% Australian and it's also environmentally and kind and it's got plant-based ingredients. Um, this is just it's not just a sculpting paste but I do love De Lorenzo products they are really good I actually use his um, color shampoo when I dye my hair red. For something plant-based it doesn't really smell planty I guess that's the word um, it actually smells quite nice. Um, so this is more like you know, if you've got short hair, you can obviously texturize it. Um, if you have got longer hair, you can use it to help you know slip back the frizzies and those kind of things. It's quite nice, and it supposedly doesn't have any residue or stickiness. I'll definitely be trying this out, and I'll let you know how this one goes. Now, this one I'm going to say the name wrong, so don't shoot me. Can you conjunct? It's a, a natural face cleansing and bath sponge infused with natural French red clay. This is says it's suitable for dry, sensitive and mature skin. I have oily skin as you can see it's coming through. I've just finished night shift. Um, this says it is a Australian owned company. Um, but the materials, which is a sponge, is made in Korea. Uh, it says this is a Japanese sponge and it's had medicinal properties um, and it's apparently it's soft enough and gentle enough that you can use it on irritated, sunburned and sensitive skin. Um, and it's also good for people with conditions like Rikosa. Rikosa is where you know you get the really bright red patches um, sort of on the cheeks and that. I have that so it's not nice, I have to put a lot of you know, cancelling it out and stuff. Um, in saying that as well, while I've got oily skin, I have a friend who is a beauty therapist and she actually said products like for sensitive skin are actually sometimes better because especially abrasive products, it's less harsh on the skin. So there's that one and this is a full size product. This retails at $9.95 so already on two products I've made my value of the box. Moving on. This is a Manish Hand and Body Lotion. It's hemp seed. Uh, let's see. This is also um, vegan and it's also travel friendly. So this is approved weight. I mean, it's 88 mils, which I didn't think you could take on a plane. I think you can only take 10 mils, but anyway. Uh, let's see. This is 15. No. Oh, yep, no, this is earthly body, hand and body. So, for this is a sample size for a full size, which is 236 mil, it's $15. So, um, it says it's non greasy. It has that hemp type of smell if you've smelt the body shop one before. But being a nurse, I always carry some form of hand lotion so they don't go astray in my job. Something always falls every time. Um, I got the Aphrodite Cosmetics Eye Colour. So I got in Shimmer Powder Awkward, or Awkward, Awkward, Orchid Flower. Um, this is a full size product as well. It retails at $24.95 and it's made with 100% natural ingredients. So, like with any low shadow, obviously you need a primer and sticky base is the best. So there's that one, which I'm really interested to try out. I love mineral cosmetics. Next is a sub of Dr. Ha Hasha Churuka Cosmetics. Uh, I don't really know what this is. Oh, it's a day cream. Melissa Day Cream. And for a full set, so this is a sample size, it's 5 grams. This retails at $52. 
and it's got witch hazel in it and daisy extracts so witch hazel is good for getting rid of um, blemishes and things so and it's supposed to help soften and it can be used on the neck face and decolletage so I'll be interested to try that as well because I do have blemish prone skin as I've mentioned before in videos um, oh, this is just some stuff about your little sponge throwing things around just some sides on drying and things like that last but not least I have two products from the organic skin company I have a face wash and a face exfoliant there. These are obviously sample sizes. Um, just trying to read if they're vegan or not. Yeah, these are vegan. So they both have the vegan logo down there. So that's good as well. It's kind of nice for boxes that actually have a bit more of a vegan option because veganism is becoming more and more, I guess, pronounced. Especially in Australia, I'm finding a lot more people are vegan. Um, these products are obviously sample sizes. These are 15 mils. Full size of the exfoliant is 50 mils. That retails at $23, and the face wash is 80 mils, and that retails at $27. So I definitely made my money on this box. There's a lot of in things I am really interested to try. Um, I'm really actually liking this. I like this a lot more than my actual Last Have a Box monthly subscription. The bags are cute. You can recycle it. You can use it for a gift. You can put things in it, store things. You can do whatever you want with it. You can just keep your goodies in there. Ties. Um, really good on the postage. I got a confirmation email when it left, when it was delivered. Um, and it all arrived very safe and packaged. So I was really impressed. I must say, last have it, your Eco Box definitely took the cake this month. Um, I'll leave the link to it below here. Um, as always, I will leave the link to my Facebook below so go there say hello I'm always on there I'm running competitions collaborations all those kind of things I'm also to link my blog and Twitter where I have lots of reviews and whatnot um, so I guess really a question of the days um, if you have a last habit eco box subscription subscription what is the product you're most interested in seeing or is there one of the products you'd be really interested in me reviewing for you um, yes yeah, so I guess I'll talk to you guys later Bye. Mwah.